Good the dog and welcome to the Amish way. Well, I had a buggy that was in a barn in a tornado. As you can see, the back wheel is uh, bent pretty badly. And I'm going to remove this and send this up to the wagon factory uh, up the road uh, to an Amish guy uh, I know. Um, and then uh, the shoehorn bracket uh, was busted. There was a large timber that fell on this and it completely broke this. So I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to build a new one and repaint it. And then, of course, you can see the roof, how it's leaning. Um, a timber did land on the roof. So this one by one, I've got to temporarily set up. This has got to be rebuilt. And uh, while I got it apart, and another thing is the... The sunshade it, it it get broke too so I'll replace that and then the last thing that I've got to build is uh, I need to build the uh, the plexiglass new piece so I'll do this as well um, oh lordy but uh, other than that this is all I've got to do to get this this buggy back fixed luckily is we're not a uh, it was not a lot of damage, and uh, well, like I said, it's, the wood is brittle anyway, so, you know, it's eight, ten years old buggy, so it's time to replace this anyway, so um, I will get, uh, I'll get this uh, fixed. Once I get it fixed, I will put up another video. To let y'all see how it looks. I'm also going to have the, the rubber inserts installed on the buggy wheels. Uh, to get them updated. And uh, this will wait. Uh, the highway department isn't having a fit. And everything. Anyway. Have a blessed day. Mox good. Good on me dog. Um, this is just a quick update. On the uh, on the buggy that I'm having to fix, um, the next video I put it will be uh, what everything is looks like uh, you, you know finished. But I've got the wood off, as you see there, and uh, so I'm going to start. Uh, uh, to get everything fixed, the next video, like I say, I'll I'll post everything when uh, when it's finished. Looks good. Good Moria. This is a update uh, on the buggy. I'm uh, be start uh, tearing this down today. I'm gonna build a new front end. Got to build all the new front frame. Just for safety, Jake, I look at the underneath the uh, vinyl. Did notice that both sides, the two by twelve, is a broke on both sides. Uh, the interior is pretty wore now, and it's filthy. So I figured I might as well go ahead and replace my interior since I had to pull this out. Uh, so I figured I'd put it new interior. The original owner of the buggy, you can see it was blue and uh, went to gray. But again, it's pretty wore out. So what I did, I bought, I tried to get some uh, more blue fabric. Uh, I didn't like the colors that they had. So I just went with the lighter gray. Uh, this way it's not quite as hot getting in and out uh, during the summertime. Uh, a lot of the kids, when they first get their first buggy, uh, and I, uh, they like to get the leather, I guess because it's uh, more appealing to them. I don't know, but as you get older like me, you realize it's very hot and 
beauty. Winter time, it's very cold. And, uh, anyway, that's why I stick with the material I got. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, I will fix this and put up a clip, uh, showing what I've done. And I will see you all in a few minutes. Good morning. Yeah. This is, uh, just a quick update. I've got the majority of the, uh, front put back together and uh still gotta put a couple of bolts on this side and it's got to be pushed this way a little bit in order to be uh straight in line perfectly but it's close and uh anyway i will try to get you finished and put up uh, more pictures after wall thank you Here's uh, another quick update on the buggy. I got the majority of it back together. And uh, this side is complete. Uh, other than I've got to paint the post and then put the, put the snap rings back in the front. And then I've got to shave this down a little bit so it's flush. And uh, then put the snap rings on this side. And I do need a bar new plexiglass window, but this is just going to have to do for now because I don't have the money to replace that. Good morning. This will be the final video I put up on the buggy bill. And I've got to polish the front out to bring the paint... Uh, to where it'll reflect this way and I have built a sun visor and I'm redoing all of the tacks in because you can see again like this buggy is about eight years old and if you see the old rivets that I've not replaced yet or the tacks you can see how rusted they're a bad shape so um, just a quick inside look I've got most of the interior redone and I've got the trim and everything there's one piece back there I still gotta get uh, but most of the trim work and everything is on the buggy, on the seat, and, uh, I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit because I got a little dirt on it, but the seat itself, I'm going to go back with a darker gray like this and then do a lighter, uh, trim outline. Um, so initially I should have went with a darker color, but. You know, what can you do? It's